Hi guys, this is Sati Verma. I'm very excited to show you today this the update on this tower. If you are interested how to make this tower, you can watch my earlier videos. Now, this tower is full of peppers now and they are coming up. But there are a couple of points uh, I'm interested to discuss today. Uh, First thing is, I've seen that uh, people are selling these towers for 500, 600, even 7, 800 dollars. Uh, this pipe is worth only 10 dollars and 10, 10, 15 dollars bucket plus uh, 15, 20 dollar you can spend on the submersible pump. So I see uh, no reason why someone should not make versus someone should buy because most of those uh, towers that are available in market. They are showing you to how to grow herbs or lettuce. Lettuce is a very easy crop to maintain. And that's the reason they are probably showing how to produce lettuce in it or herb or something. Uh, but uh, imagine if you have spent five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars, how many heads of lettuce you will have to grow in order to uh, break even the price of that tower. Uh, since very beginning we are interested here in I'm experimenting with the large plants and I'm very pleased to show you the uh, uh, green pepper here you can see uh, especially this one see how big these peppers are especially this one see how big this is coming up and they are everywhere on this tower one thing uh, you have to pay attention to the nutrition how you supply your nutrition in this tower uh, most of those high-end towers they are selling and they will be selling you the nutrition in a liquid form A and B and then ask you to pay for pH meter or ppm meter what I'm trying to do here is without buying any further equipment the pH meter or ppm meter I'm trying to see if we can grow so if we are successful in growing without investing too much on other equipments like ppm meter or ph meter that would be wonderful i use city water here mostly and the initial ph of city water is around 7 or 6.5 7 7.1 sometimes so once you add these hydroponic solution a and b this ph maintains to the which is the level for growing most of the plants they are very happy between 5 and 6 and then i go low on the uh, suggested nutrition uh, that way I always consider that little is too much and then after two three weeks four five weeks I rather adding more nutrition I add more water so as to make it more in a dil dilute form and then once in the entire life cycle I change the uh, water altogether went with the fresh water and again slightly lesser than the recommended dose and this is the result you can see peppers everywhere everywhere even at the back here yeah so those uh, where you buy those expensive items they will probably not help you in growing and maintaining the plant the, the most important aspect of growing vertically is to supply the nutrition to the plant and the uh, management of the plant at what distance you are planting them so that they are having enough light and they are not competing for the light they are not competing for the nutrition so those kind of things so you have to be very careful and there is a learning curve for sure I'm growing it for last couple of years so now I can have crops like this so yeah again uh, they are still coming see the new peppers are coming up and we are at the almost uh, the final of this tower so to say and then I'll be taking these peppers harvesting them and then wait for the next year because in winter I do not take them inside because one of the reason I do not want to grow them inside as of yet is because of the grow light grow lights are expensive and to supply the lights in LED form or in any other form that would be more expensive than the cost of the harvest that you will be getting so give it another thought if uh, 
you are buying LED lights and want to grow them indoors, whether that is cost effective, I do not see it cost effective as yet. Yeah, so the idea of this experiment was just to show that without investing in pH meter, without investing in PPM meter, just by manipulating your nutritional levels and adding nutrition only once and then adding water more frequently to make it in more dilute form and once in the entire life cycle of the plant just replacing the water adding the nutrition again that can help us achieve the results which i'm getting in this tower but definitely because uh, it is my hobby i'll be investing in ph meter and ppm meter i keep investing them i would like to know what the ppm of my water is but if you just want to grow on a small scale you don't really need it so by manipulating the water and nutrition and the efficiency the light efficiency where exactly you are placing the tower how much light is available whether it is available at the or all four sites that is in the in the home environment those are the uh, steps we can take to uh, have a good produce of anything i mean you can grow eggplants i was experimenting with bell pepper i experimented with marigolds on the flower side and then uh, these peppers again this year and i have experimented with tomatoes as well uh, not the indeterminate type the determinate ones and the eggplants so in a wide variety of crops not growing only herbs and lettuce as they most often um, tell you to grow uh, even the large plants this is the witness to that the la large plants can be very successfully grown vertically and uh, you can expect uh, more i mean i have hundreds of peppers here in just in a uh, probably two square feet of area so yeah that way uh, we can definitely grow in a home environment and without investing much the initial cost of making this uh, would be under say 50 to 60 70 dollars not much this bucket is showing the cracks after three four five years this bucket is dying upon me so but uh, i'm not much worried because it has already lasted four years so if you are spending five six seven hundred dollars and buying those ready-made solution just think about it how long it will take to recoup and if they are suggesting you to grow lettuce only in those then how many heads of lettuce you'll be needing before um, this project pays by itself and then what's the life of those entire six seven hundred dollar if the bucket dies it cracks in uh, three four years you have not made the money whatever the lettuce you have produced out of it so yeah i would strongly suggest if you can uh, or if you can just take services of a handyman, he can make something for you. Just go to your local hardware store, buy a pipe, buy a submersible pump and a bucket and um, some pipe to carry forward the water. The idea is very simple. You put the tower in, in a bucket which will serve as a reservoir, put a submersible pump in it and make some somehow take the water to the top and then use a funnel with a drain with a hole drilled in it so that the water showers like a rain in this tower and then uh, have some openings where you can put the plants mm. you are you are in business so it's very simple i do not see any reason why to pay so much money for those uh, simple and very cheap uh, things that you can get at a home hardware or any local hardware store lowe's home depot or you, you name it you can find these things anywhere and if you think you cannot make it by yourself just uh, Take the help of a handyman and he will charge you another 30 40 50 dollars and can make one for you so as long as you know the concept you know how to take the water at the top and then rain it so you can get it made for yourself and then don't spend much in the uh, all those meters and all in the next videos i'll uh, tell you how you can use uh, the local available fertilizer uh, rather than buying those hydroponic uh, solution part a and part b you can use um, any fertilizer just uh, uh, make sure you don't use any urea in it because uh, urea and dissolved water in this uh, hydroponic situation uh, will burn the plant so we would like to uh, base our system on calcium uh, nitrate or another sort of uh, nitrogenous fertilizers and the epsom salt and some other stuff i'll make another video full on it then how can you use the nutrition and can make your crop less green. Thank you very much.